Hi guys, welcome and welcome back. If this is your first time clicking on my video, hi, my name is Sessa Margaret. Please click the red subscribe button down below to be a part of my tribe. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I cook my sesame noodles. Let's get started! These are my ingredients over here. I have a bunch of measuring spoons. I have tablespoon, teaspoon, and then half a cup and cup one. I have uh, just a normal bowl and a normal spoon. I have these organic brown rice pad thai noodles. You can use um, pad thai noodles, lo mein noodles, um, pasta noodles, rice noodles, whatever you have on hand. Then you're going to need pure ground ginger. Minced garlic. You can use minced garlic, or if you have an actual like garlic clove, like pure garlic clove, you can actually um, cut that, chop them up. Um, I have sesame seeds for garnish. You don't have to use this if you want, but it is sesame noodles, so. I have sesame seed oil. I have rice wine vinegar. and soy sauce and then over and then over here I have a pan right there and then I have a little spoon to mix the pasta when it's done so the first thing I'm going to do is I just open up my noodle packet and I'm going to take my bowl and I'm going to um, fill it up about halfway a little bit more than halfway and let, start letting that boil So I just put that on high to let that boil. So I'm just going to look at the recipe on my phone really quick. So I got this recipe from Pinterest, but then I modified it, modified it like to fit like what I like to cook and like my family's taste and style and stuff. So Okay, so you need one third um of this rice wine vinegar right here. So I'm going to start measuring it out. Okay, so that's about one third, a little under one third. It's about one third, a little under. So I'm gonna take this and dump it into my bowl. So the next thing I'm gonna do is one fourth soy sauce. With my soy sauce, I'm gonna pour into the bowl. about one fourth it's about one fourth I'm gonna dump that into my bowl next I'm gonna add the sesame oil to my bowl That's one so you add one tablespoon So you add one tablespoon, so I'm going to add that. Next, I'm adding my um, garlic. Just do um one little spoonful of garlic. I don't really have a measurement for that, but I'm just gonna do. It depends on how much garlic you like. I'm just gonna use um just take this spoon and just take a spoonful of it. I'm just using about a spoonful of garlic. I'm not really measuring on my garlic. 
Next, I'm going to add ground ginger. See? Ground ginger. Sorry, I'm just looking at the recipe. So, one teaspoon of ground ginger. I'm going to open it and just... Woo! Smells good. So I just stuck this in here and just scooped it out, scooped out a scoop of it. But my mixture's in this bowl, so now I'm gonna take the big spoon I used for the um, garlic and I'm gonna mix it all up. So I just mixed it up. I just mixed up the mixture. That's me seeds. Um, you can add them directly to your sauce or you can add them directly after you mix it at the end, you can add them like for garnish. I'm gonna add a little bit in here in my sauce, and then I'm gonna add a little bit as garnish when I'm all when I'm plating. So I'm gonna put about I'm gonna put about two to five shakes of this in it. And same for garnish, I'm gonna do about two to five shakes. So one, one, two, three, four, five. It's about that, and then I'm gonna give it. Um, after you add that, you're gonna give it another mix. Um, so my water is boiling, so I'm going to add the noodles into the bowl, into the boil pot of boiling water. And then I'm going to turn the heat down to about 6. So my little cooktop goes high, 8, 6, 4, 2, low. So when you boil the water, I'd put it on high, but when it, well, after you put the noodles in, I'll bring it down to uh, between 6 and 8. So I'm gonna give that a mix. Um, I'm just using this regular spoon with holes in it. Just a regular pasta spoon. And I'm gonna mix this up. Um, some of the packages of noodles have like instructions. I would just use that when I'm doing. I would just follow the instructions on the back of your package. So mine says it takes about, so for these it says um, after you add them in, it takes about four to six minutes until the noodles are fully cooked. And so I would just follow um, the back of your noodle packet. The recipe I'm using is no recipe, but I will put um, a res the doubled recipe. Um, like if you have like more than four people and you want to like, make more of it, I'll have the double recipe in, in the description box below. And I'll have the recipe I'm using and all the ingredients in the description below. So my noodles are just about done, maybe about, give them another minute um, for cook. So now I'm gonna strain them out. My noodles should be done. I'm just gonna turn them off. And then I'm gonna strain them out here. I would recommend if you're scared of this process, um, please get a docile version or somebody to help you with this. So I just... So I just drained all the water out of my pasta. So now I'm gonna dump my sauce in there. So you dump the um, sesame sauce you made in here. And this is also the time if you were using green onions or some sort of meat, you can put that in here now. I'm not using any meat, but you're free to use steak, um, chicken, um, little strips of beef, whatever, you, little pieces of pork, whatever, whatever you want, you can just add it to here. Now. And when you're done, you just give it a mix. Just 
in the mix. See me, the pan's in the way. I'm gonna add another shake of sesame seeds to garnish. That was more like three little shakes, but it's okay. So this is the end result. That's what it looks like in the big pan. Thanks for watching. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn the notification button down below, and also I will be putting the recipe in the description.